Hello from my vehicle. I'm using my Bagu as a tripod because my car tripod has been broken for the last year and a half and I've done nothing to fix it. I love collecting CDs and so today I'm going to a couple of thrift stores and antique stores to see what CDs I can find. I'm not looking for like any specific album or musician in particular. I just want to see what there is to offer and hopefully if I find something that I like, the CD is actually still inside of it and it's not all scratched up. I would also go to Half Price Books, but I've never had luck there finding stuff not scratched up. So I'm going to two Goodwills and an antique store today. So let's go. The first Goodwill we go. I forgot where they kept their DVDs and CDs. So I first went to the back, found a couple random ones, and then I went to the front and found all of their CDs. This was honestly a bigger selection than I was expecting. Um, Sing Pure Heroin by Lord, Too Good to Be True. As we can see, every, every time I see a CD, it's always going to be Too Good to Be True. What do we think's inside of here? If you guess nothing, you're correct. Yeah, there was nothing inside of this one, but the DVD selection came through. There was a lot of cool stuff. I found Shrek 2. It was a little damaged, so I did not get it. Hunger Games Special Edition. I did walk away with this one. There were like three shelves of DVDs, which was so fun to look at. They had a couple seasons of The Office, the Hannah Montana movie, which I already own. I think some Wii games, High School Musical Sing It. That was pretty iconic, um, but we had a lot of these. Okay, I would say stop number one was a success. I did not get any CDs. They had maybe two dozen there and I knew it was too good to be true when I saw a couple that caught my eye. There was no CD in there or it was switched out. But the DVD selection, I should have said this is a CD and DVD hunt video because I just got The Hunger Games. This is the only one I picked up, but it's a three disc special edition. It has all three discs in there and they're not scratched up. They're all really good quality, or at least the first two are. There's a hidden one with special features. I didn't check that one out, but the movie itself is in good condition and like, Look at this. Oh my God, Pita. Pita Malark. I just reread the Hunger Games series as well. So this felt perfect because I own Catching Fire on Blu-ray, but I don't have the Hunger Games. They also had Twilight and New Moon, but Twilight was missing its disc and New Moon was not in the best quality. So I skipped those, but this was 99 cents. And then I rounded up to donate because I felt like an asshole using my credit card. I guess my debit card to spend a dollar so i spent two dollars but hey that's a good deal so now i'm gonna go to an antique store which is always a good time last time i was there they had a huge twilight display and so i hope that vendor is still there and no one bought it completely out because i really want to see it again i i want to see what they have truly only go to this antique store like once a year so it's always fun looking around i saw this american girl doll and was so confident this was nelly samantha's best friend but then i read it and it was a just like me doll i think they're lying but whatever i saw these cutie little things um they wanted ten dollars each for these dvds which i thought was insane and then i saw this mcdonald's toy and i had this as a kid it's so weird going to an antique store and finding stuff that you had as a kid it's just it's so strange unfortunately the twilight shelf was no longer there it was taken over by star wars very unfortunate i know but i found so many cds oh my god like the first like building and a half i did not find anything and then everywhere i looked look at how many cds there are there were a lot of like 90s artists and music and a lot of country music this is texas i had to expect that but i did end up walking away with three cds and it was so much fun exploring and seeing what they had i'm glad i had a lot of options that antique store it kind of hit it kind of hit i was thinking in the beginning i was like i'm not gonna find anything here well i found some stuff let me tell you cds i got three cds they were five dollars each i got stevie nicks in your dreams i actually don't know any songs on this album at least not just off of reading it um so i'm or i guess i don't know any just off of reading it anyways i'm very excited for this i love her music and then frozen frozen love Frozen I love it so much and then the first one I actually picked out was Star Wars the Phantom Menace soundtrack gorgeous I don't think this oh I guess it is still a fold-out poster but I was very excited about this those are five dollars each and then movies 
I got five DVDs. So starting off, we have the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants and 13 going on 30. These were a dollar each. I found a spot that had so many DVDs. And when I found this one, I was like, I hope they have 13 going on 30. I love that movie. And they did. And they did. Now I don't have to fight for my life finding both of these on streaming networks anymore. Speaking of fighting for my life finding things on streaming networks. Remember how I said earlier I didn't get Twilight? I did this time. These were $3 each. I have Twilight and New Moon. I guess these places just love these two movies. Or maybe everyone just hates these two movies. I love them. Now I need to get the other three to complete my collection. And then I'm ending this with the star of the show. One Direction, Up All Night, Live on Tour. I almost didn't see this. But I was talking with a lady while we were looking around. So I kept looking. And I was like, oh my god, wait. Does that say One Direction? It did. It did. And now I own it. I'm going to watch this tonight. Oh my goodness. It also has three official music videos in here on tour with One Direction, exclusive behind the scenes document, documentary, 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 documentary. I can never read that word properly the first time. Revealing life on tour. Oh my God. This weekend I saw Niall Horn and my friend and I ended up watching a bunch of One Direction funny moment compilations. So that just was like meant to be. But now I'm at the final Goodwill. I'm just going to take a look around at their CDs and DVDs. I I don't have any specific faith or hope at this specific location. I've never been here, but also I've gotten so many good things. If it's a fail, it's a fail. I don't care. Our final stop of the day was short and sweet. The CD collection was not hitting. There was not really anything good here. Not even anything worth opening up. The DVDs were a lot of fun to look at, though. I had a lot of fun with that. There were a lot of DVDs in this Goodwill. However, I did not end up getting any. I almost got Pride and Prejudice, but I am a 2005 Pride and Prejudice person. So even though it was only $2, I was like, and there's a line. I didn't want to wait in the line. They had a lot of Disney movies, but we already own like all of those. And someone's like entire strawberry shortcake and my little pony dvd collection was donated there but like the 2010 version maybe it was 2012 somewhere in the 2010s not like like i was still watching those but not like the ones that i grew up with so otherwise i would have copped them i love strawberry shortcake but i did not end up with anything here though there were some good finds in the dvd section i thought i found eclipse I thought, I was like, oh my God, did I find Twilight Eclipse? No, someone switched it out for a Grown Ups DVD. I knew it was too good to be true. I knew it was, so it's fine. Um, but this was a fun little journey. I got so many goodies. I'm very happy with my finds. Everything was under $35 total. So I think that's a win for me. And yeah, I had, I had a great time searching. I'm so glad that the antique store came through and I'm gonna watch One Direction live on tour tonight. It's only 1 p.m. I'm gonna watch it at 1.30 when I'm home.